Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with a speed build video of The Sims 4. It's been a very long while since the last time we have uploaded anything with The Sims 4. We actually did do a Let's Play series last year, but then I actually was like, you know what, I'm going to wait until I have my green screen so I can do Let's Plays with like my webcam or something. So I actually was waiting for that and then I was so busy with Planet Zoo so I didn't get back to it. And then my computer crashed so then I lost basically everything. So also this build you're seeing right now is actually not uploaded to the gallery because I, I don't have the build anymore unfortunately. But I do still have the cinematic shots and the speed build itself so I'm really happy that I am at least able to share this with you guys. But I'm going to admit this build felt like it was recorded like half a year ago or something like that, but it actually is way older than that. It's actually from August 2019. I'm almost afraid to tell, like this is actually recorded. This is a tiny house, tiny home, whatever you want to call it. But this one is recorded before we got the tiny living stuff pack. And I was actually surprised about that. I saw this recording, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to use that. That's from the tiny living stuff pack. Until I realized that this one is not recorded with the stuff pack, it's recorded way before that even. Then again, I'm just really happy with this small little build, I'm super proud of it, so I obviously want to share it with you guys, so hopefully you can get some inspiration for it or anything like that, or just enjoy me talking over the Sims 4 videos with you guys. Like, I do remember that all the other videos I did with The Sims 4, I actually really had a hard time with talking over it. I do really notice that I start to grow a lot more with doing these voiceovers. So that's a good thing, hopefully. So hopefully I'm able to uh, continue talking for the whole build for a change. So that will be fun. So yeah, for those who are wondering, I have been playing uh, Planet Zoo for one and a half year almost on the channel and I'm still enjoying it. I will definitely not leave Planet Zoo or anything like that. I'm definitely enjoying it, but I do really want to do some more other things for 2021. So I really want to expand the channel a little bit with some Sims builds, maybe some City Skylines. Prehistoric Kingdom is coming this summer and there are probably some other games too that really would fit. So I'm definitely going to try and expand the channel a little bit with some other creative and fun games that I really enjoy playing. So really do hope that you guys enjoy. I do know that I have a lot of Sims followers here on the channel already. At least on Discord, there were a lot of people really excited that I'm starting to upload The Sims again to the channel. So hopefully you guys will all enjoy. And if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And uh, well, maybe I know a lot of Sims players also do enjoy some planet zoo so hopefully that can also uh, convince you to subscribe if you haven't already and of course leave a like and video if you guys enjoy this small tiny living build or no, i'm gonna say tiny living but it's not a tiny living build a tiny house build before we got tiny living so obviously i i started off with the layout like i am not as i just told you guys i played a lot of planet zoo the last couple of one and a half years i did play a little bit of the sims in between but i have this love hate relationship with the sims so i do enjoy building for a bit but when i start playing the game i really mostly have a hard time of really keeping my focus keep enjoying the gameplay itself i think that's something that a lot of people can recognize when you try to play in the sims 4 unfortunately ea is still not really listening to the player base like i am a great example of someone that would love to play the game more but it just doesn't really attract me so yeah that's quite unfortunate actually and i do really hope that i think sims 5 will be a better one i do really hope that i think sims 4 is going to be lost anyways i don't think that ea will be able to repair the sims 4 with their gameplay and making it more in depth and more fun like i was a huge fan of the sim 3 back then i really played tons of hours of sims 3 when i was younger and i, I just never really felt that way with the sims 4 but i do really enjoy the building in it so that is definitely something I'm going to try to get back to. I know there is a new DLC coming up. Uh, I'm not really sure how it was called, the paranormal stuff pack or something like that. 
uh, it's not really my type of stuff pack that's it doesn't really seem super attracting to me, but I'm super excited to see what kind of stuff is in the stuff pack, obviously. Is it actually a stuff pack or is it a game pack? No, I think it's a stuff pack. And I know that I saw a lot of uh, simmers uploading videos talking about it like, this maybe should have been a gameplay pack instead to make it more in depth. But yeah, I don't know. I For me, uh, it doesn't really attract me, but maybe I am completely wrong and i really do love it like as far as i have this love hate relationship with the sims 4 i do have all the packs except for the star wars pack that's that's the only one that really didn't attract me so i didn't got that one but even though i didn't really play it that much i still bought each and every pack all the time i don't know what it is it's like that sims addiction that you just want to get each and every pack all the time i don't know <laughs> Am I the only one that feels that way? I don't know. I'm just curious if you guys have the same thing as I have. So let's talk a little bit about the build that we're doing right now. Like what I really do like, and that is something I really got from Planet Zoo, is like having those pillars on the corners of the walls and stuff on the outside. The only downside is when you really start playing the game and you have like, I'm not really sure how you call it, like have a walls when you're doing your gameplay, so not like the walls being super tiny. I think there's a word for it, but I can't really remember what the word for it is. Uh, but you can still see those pillars, like those pillars don't vanish. And that is something that really always annoys me in the game for some reason. Like if I'm playing the game, like real gameplay, I really would like those pillars to vanish because they really annoy me sometimes. But the look of them on the walls of your buildings are just amazing. So I do really like to use that a lot in a lot of builds, actually. So the tiny house also has this cute little porch on the entrance of the building, which we will get back to in a later stage, obviously. And I do really love to use the... I think these windows are from the Seasons pack. I'm not entirely sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they're from the Seasons pack. And I do really love these. I think for many builds that I do, I just always love to use those type of windows. I think they're just fantastic. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really do like the feeling they're giving, especially for these tiny homes. It's either like a cute little tiny home or like a very modern home with like very straight modern windows Th those are the types of buildings i like to do the most in the sims i guess so as i said i don't have this building anymore so i have no idea how many tiles this building exactly is but yeah it's tiny it's definitely tiny and in a corner of the house is like a very tiny little bathroom nothing really spectacular like you can't really do too much of decorating in that little bathroom obviously but it does look modern and very white i chose for a lot of brighter colors in this game like as everyone knows like it's sometimes really hard to match the type of colors of your furniture and stuff in the sims it's so annoying that the color wheels and like i just <laughs> I just want more playing colors that fit in every house if I want it to be or like give me back the color wheel from The Sims 3. I'm really missing out on that part in The Sims 4 unfortunately. So as you can see in the kitchen you have this stove actually colliding with one of the counters and I also put a counter in the back of the fridge. I just really like that because of the realism but obviously unfortunately as far as I remember actually that does mean that your fridge doesn't work. I do remember that someone once told me that maybe if you put the fridge at least a little bit to the front the sims would be able to use the fridge with the counter still in the back of it but i don't think the stove is being able to use like this so this is more of like an inspirational decoration home than that it's really functional like obviously if you would use it you would definitely have to remove the counter in the back of the fridge and the counter underneath the stove unfortunately but i i don't know especially with the stove i don't really understand why you don't have this option to just have like this plate, for example, to put on your counter. Like at least for us in the Netherlands, we always have kitchens with this kind of plate either. It's like, I don't know if induxy is an English word for it uh, or like a gas plate or anything. It's like it fits the fridge. I know in America, it's, it's mostly separate fridge. But in the Netherlands, we always have a fridge in the same style as the counters, for example. And we have, as I just said, like some people do have a separate stove 
in between the counters, but a lot of houses in the Netherlands, like more modern houses, I guess you should call it, they all have a stove that fits the counters and a fridge that fits the counters. So I don't know, for some reason, I always feel a little bit disconnected with kitchen stuff in The Sims 4. At least for all the houses I have lived in, everything was always included in the counter. It's always the same style and stuff. So yeah, that is definitely something I need to get used to with The Sims. I, I still can't get used to it, actually, because it's just so different from what I'm used to and what I grew up in. And it's the same with like cabinets above the counters. That is something that I always see in kitchens in the Netherlands. We always have cabinets above the counters. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I also feel a little bit disconnected with the with the cabinets for some reason. But I always try to use them because I don't know, it just feels like it belongs in a kitchen. And I always try to hide some of the lamps underneath those cabinets to make sure that there are some more extra light above the kitchen because that is also something I always like to do but I think it's a pity that you don't really have lights intended to be that way in The Sims unfortunately. Also early in this video you saw me using a red shelf that is basically the only mod I use in The Sims. I am using a little bit more gameplay mods nowadays but for building I am not using any custom content or whatsoever. I only did use that rat shelf you saw me using earlier, I will put that one in the description down below if you want to use it. It's actually meant to make it easier for you to put down clutter and little decorations and stuff on spots where you want them to be. So I will definitely uh, put that one down and I saw a tutorial a long time ago, we'll try to find it and I will also put it down in the description down below so you can find it and know how to use that red little shelf because I think that is definitely something super useful to do some extra decorations in your sims houses. So yeah, obviously on the port there is a lot of stuff going on. The first thing I really wanted was like this big barbecue. A big barbecue is definitely something I would really dream of. I myself have an apartment with like a small little balcony. We do have a little small barbecue on the balcony. But I really dream of like a bigger house with a nice little guard, well, nice garden. I'm not going to say little because little can be very little, but a nice garden with a very big barbecue and like a sofa, like these loungy sofas and chairs. I would love a garden like that. But yeah, I, I don't think that will happen anytime soon, unfortunately. But yeah, that's definitely something I would dream of. So obviously I wanted to include a big barbecue with some counters next to it in this house as well. It's actually like a very small house and the person that would live here would probably just really like to be outside and really enjoying being on the porch and just sitting there eating and just relaxing, this person really just loves to stay outdoors and that's why it doesn't really matter that the house is that small, I guess. And obviously, since I do love cats, I don't have cats anymore, unfortunately, at the moment, but I really do love cats. So I really wanted to make sure that the person that would be living here has a room for a cat or at least like there's a bowl in the kitchen and there is a litter box on the outside on the porch because indoors you don't really have space for it but it doesn't really matter cats can also use their litter box outside obviously and also there is this little toy box on the porch as well to make sure that we can store some cute little toys for the kitty cat and I think but I'm not really sure about that anymore I think I also hid away some kind of scratching post or something in the living room itself but I, I think you can see it later on in the cinematic shots as well. And what I found really important uh, for decorating this cute little house was using a lot of small little planters and vases and stuff. You see me using a lot of that and that really reminds me of my mom. My mom <laughs> is very much known as like having a very small garden. She used to have a house with a very small garden and now she has a very small balcony but she really decorates it with like so many tiny pots and tiny plants and so many flowers and uh, so much clutter. But it's still, well, some people may find it messy, but I don't know, I grew up with it. So I, for me, it doesn't feel messy. It just feels very cozy and cute and just, uh, I don't know. I feel, it feels like at home, I guess. I But for some reason, I do really like that, but 
I don't have that in my own house, for example. I do have a lot of stuff though, but not as my mom does. And not like you can see when the porch is finished, like all those little plants and pots and stuff. No, that's definitely not me, but it, I've, I really do like it. I really do love how that is all looking. And obviously around the house, I really want to make sure that we have a lot of plants and a lot of flowers as well and some trees and decorating it with some more of the smaller rocks. But I do have to admit, it really feels so struggling and a pain in the neck, I should say, a pain in the butt, <laughs> to decorate with these plants and flowers. I don't know, for some reason, it feels so hard to me like planet zoo is so much easier like i can sink in plants and trees into the ground wherever i want them to be and then the sims 4 feels so feels like having so many restrictions for some reason like you can't really get too close to the foundation for example or then it will go too high and i don't know it's very much a struggle for me as a planet zoo player and i can really tell like i'm definitely not the best builder in The Sims 4, I really have to learn a lot. I really envy people that are really great builders in The Sims 4. But the other way around, I hear that so often. Like, Sims players really want to get into Planet Zoo, but it feels so hard for them. So yeah, I guess that makes us even at that point. But yeah, I do really like to create these small little houses. I think I will definitely try to upload a little bit more. If you guys have any requests of other things I could do, or like challenges or anything else you would really like to see me doing, definitely let me know in the comment section down below, of course. And of course, let me know what you guys think of this tiny wooden house. The first Sims 4 video we are uploading in 2021 and hopefully there will be many more to follow. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media. You can find all those links in the description down below. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.